LXL A-Level Maths, Pure Paper 2, October 2021, Question 4. Given that theta is small and measured in radians, we need to use the small angle approximations to show that 4 sine theta over 2 plus 3 cos squared theta is approximately equal to A plus B theta plus C theta squared, where A, B and C are integers to be found. So let's remind ourselves about the small angle approximations first. We're dealing with sine and cos. So sine theta is approximately theta when theta is small and cos theta is approximately equal to one minus theta squared over two. So putting these into the left-hand side of what we have above, we would get four times theta over two for the sine and three times the square of one minus theta squared over two for the cos squared. Well, the left-hand term becomes two theta. The square of those brackets is one times one gives us the one. We'll have two lots of one times negative theta squared over two. So that gives us minus theta squared. And then we've got the square of negative theta squared over two, which gives us theta to the power of four over four. Now looking at what we're aiming for, there's no theta to the power of four there. It stops at squared. Well, this is because we're dealing with small angles here. So if you've got a really small angle, you raise that to the power of four, it's gonna get even smaller. So small that it's negligible, we don't need to deal with it. So we're gonna cancel that out. If we expand the bracket then, we'd end up with three times one and three times minus theta squared. So altogether we get three plus two theta minus three theta squared, which is in the form that we needed. If you've enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel to keep up to date with all the latest releases.